because we know they are linked. The sand by the water, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved. Just like a tree. That's planted by the water, we shall not be moved. We're fighting for those unlawfully assembled lying on the street inside the police tape at the 800 block of 1st Street North by East. You're committing the offense of blocking passage 22 DC Code 1307 of the District of Columbia Code by congregating in the street or on the sidewalk and obstructing its free use. I order you to cease your unlawful conduct by dispersing along the public Feel free to keep calling WAMU or some of the other stations. If you go to our Facebook page, uh, there's a link to a website where you can type in your home phone number and pick different stations. So if you're not from uh, here in Washington, D.C., you can get connected to wherever your local NPR station is. And we've got some good reports from Oregon already, I think, and a bunch of other places around the country. Um, so call your local station. Tell them to call NPR National and drop the fracking sponsorship. Uh, thanks for coming out today, and we'll get a bunch of you on the air in the next couple of minutes.
to cheers is. We are America. We are the real America. Are we? Fruit is a parasite. It's an antiquated parasite. It's what came out of this fossil fuel thing that we created a hundred years ago. It has resulted in very cheap energy, which has in some ways benefited all of us enormously. But those times are gone. They are gone forever because that cheap energy is poisoning all life on the planet. Our lives, our children's lives, our grandchildren's lives, and the lives of all living creatures, animals, and all of nature. And we all know that. FERC doesn't yet know it, but we have this week made, sent that message in a way that many of them have got to be thinking about it. And you are the people who have done that. You are the people who have done that. Yeah. Yes. Now, we started this week on Sunday with one of the most beautiful songs and inspiring songs in, the, in, in this country about Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman, an incredible woman who made many trips into slave territory, carried a gun in her pocket, and led slaves to freedom. We have, we are in the process of doing something similar. It takes the same kind of discipline, courage, fortitude, stick with itness. I don't know what the words are. <laughs> that Terry Tubman had, and you, and you, and you, and you have that. And you have shown it this week. We've been here for five days, guys. Yeah. Five days. And I know, because of my own experience, okay, I'm tired, and I know a lot of other people are tired, but like they said, my feet may be weary. Oh, what's, what's, what's the thing? I, I can't remember that one. My feet may be worried, but my spirit is strong. Me giving voice to the, the tragedy that we're all experiencing with climate change and all that. When you're alone on your farm in western Pennsylvania, it seems pretty overwhelming. But here today, it feels like we're going to win. If you get your friends, get your family, get everybody involved. We have to beat this monster back before it ruins where we live. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Because we, we have been a community, because we have been able to work together, um, it's because we have people who are dedicated and committed, it's because we have people with skills um, and fresh energy and new ideas, and it's because we've had the kind of people who are willing to lock down, um, risking um, time in jail, risking injury, other people um, who did the same thing with the blockades, who were injured in a number of cases, many of people who were arrested, it's upwards of 100 over the course of the week. Um, people have had you know, this courage, this willingness to sacrifice um, for, our, for our lives, for our families, for our children's lives, for our great-grandchildren. But today was the biggest success of all because for two and a half hours, FERC was shut down. Every time this, every day this week, when we've had these wrap-up rallies, we've read our demands to FERC. And um, if somebody has the card with the demands, um, we should do that again today.
final demand so everyone is clear why we've spent the entire week here. Ferg? Ferg. We demand withdrawal of permits. We, we demand, demand And to stop the building of all infrastructure. Future FERC permits. Future FERC permits. Must prioritize the rights and health of human beings and all life on Earth. is going to lead us in. This is, I understand, that it was been the song of the Great March for Climate Action yeah. across the country, which uh, many of us have been really honored to work with uh, all of you all who did that eight-month walk. Um, so uh, you want to lead us here, Kelsey? We're going to do the March of Verse 2. We are the marchers, the mighty marchers. We walk across the USA every day.
Yeah.